39 degrees with light snow falling here at the 12,000 foot summit of Loveland Pass. There will likely be another dusting of snow on these high mountain peaks later on Thursday night into Friday morning. So we better start getting ourselves into a winter mindset because it's coming fast. And this year will be controlled by an El Nino weather pattern. And not just any El Nino, but likely a strong El Nino. For mountain snowpack, that usually means very little because there have been mixed results over the years. Some strong El Ninos have resulted in well below average snowpack, while other years have been big. One place there does seem to be a connection is the city of Denver, and it's a very snowy connection. Take a look at this. There have been eight instances of strong El Ninos in recorded history, and only one has resulted in below average snowfall in Denver. In those eight El Ninos, Denver has averaged 71 inches of snow. The historic average is 56.9 inches. As for when that first snow of the season comes, there doesn't appear to be a good correlation there, but that first snow usually is pretty random and not indicative of any weather patterns. And so on average, that first snowfall of the season comes to Denver on October the 18th. Here in the high country, the uh, first snow up here on the high mountain passes came a little bit late this year, but it looks like we're going to enter a more active weather pattern as those aspen leaves start to change here in the high country. On Loveland Pass, meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.